Lord, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, uh, peace and safety to the hopefully elect, all the sincere Akim, uh, scattered throughout the four corners, uh, pushing the Heavenly Father's word in sincerity and in truth, out of a pure heart, and uh, for the ones who don't know Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, uh, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And um, the first precept I want to jump into is uh, the book of Revelations, all right? Because you got uh, niggas with Bibles, man, all right? Uh, pushing private interpretations. And uh, the niggas I'm referring to is those uh, those One West uh, elders and they flunkies, man. All right? Those One West elders and they flunkies, man. Teaching private interpretation. Basically adding and taking away uh, from the Lord's word, man. Uh, the, the, the breakdown I'm specifically referring to is uh, Revelation chapter 9. All right? And I'm going to skim through it and uh, give you a few precepts and give you the biblical interpretation of what that's uh, referring to, man. All right? Show you that it's not referring to uh, World War uh, One. All right? According to uh, Nate at IUIC, the elder at IUIC and his flunkies, uh, that star that fell from heaven that got the key to the bottomless pit is referring to uh, Kaiser Warham. And that's adding and taking away from the word, man. So, first precept I want to get is uh, Revelation chapter 1 and verse... Verse 3, it says, Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that readeth. And they, referring to the elect, that hear the words of this prophecy. Because remember, in Peter's, it said no uh, scripture, no prophecy is of any private interpretation, man. All right? And that World War I breakdown of Revelation 9 is, 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 uh, a private interpretation, man. All right? It was brought in by the will of man. It's not biblical. So it says, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. All right? So you're supposed to keep uh, the words that's written in the book, man. All right? Not private interpretations uh, from your elders, man. All right? From those wicked elders, man. So, <clears throat> this is Revelation chapter 9. I'm going to start at the top. It says, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven. <clears throat> now we know who that star is. All right? Who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. The Lord himself. Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's the star, man. Let's see if we can get a quick precept. That's the star of, of, of the Bible, man. You have a shot, man. Uh, let's see here. In uh, the book of Matthews. The book of Matthews. It says, let's see where I'm going to start at. Because it refers to uh, Yahweh Shai as being the star. I'm right? not, not referring to Kaiser Warham, man. Okay? It's referring to the Lord. So this is Matthews uh, chapter two. I'm gonna start at. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse uh, two. It said, "When Yahweh was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came a wise man from the east of Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star.'" 
in the east. So that's that star, man. All right? That's the star of the show. You have a shot. Not uh, Kaiser Warhammer, man. So it says we have seen. Uh, let's see. It says, said, where is he, Yahweh Shai, that is born king of the Jews? All right, so he also is known as the king of the Jews. For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Okay, so that's referring to Yahweh Shai, that star, man. So going back to Revelation 9, it says, and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven. Unto the earth, and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. And we know uh, Yahweh Shai is the one with the keys. Okay? Uh, let's prove that in Revelation 6. Uh, this is uh, Revelation 6 and 1. It says, And I saw the Lamb open one of the seals. Okay? And the Lamb we know is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So it says, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, come and see. All right, so that's referring to the Lord himself, man. Okay, he got the keys, all right? Yeah, I wish I got the keys. And he also uh, is referred to as that star, man. All right? And not uh, Kaiser Warren, that's a, that's a private interpretation, man. It's not biblical, all right? But, like I said, you got niggas with Bibles uh, uh, pushing those doctrines, all right? And they flunkies just eat it up, man. All right? They just eat it up. So, reading on, it says, and he opened the bottomless pit, all right? And we read that in Revelation 6. Uh, Yahweh shot the lamb, opened the seal, man. Okay? He opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit. As the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. Now, the private interpretation is that that's referring to uh, the fighter jets uh, during the time of World War I. But that's madness, man. All right? Like I said, that's not biblical, man. There's no precept uh, to support that. All right? That's not the vision that the Lord gave uh, John, man. Okay, and those locusts is referring to uh, the angels, man. All right, and as I read on in the chapter, you're gonna see that. So it says, it opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air was darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the, out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and it to them was given power as scorpions over the earth to have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither the green things, neither any tree, but only men, only those men which have not the seal of the power in their foreheads. Now I'm going to get a quick precept uh, in the book of Revelations and show you uh, who that's referring to, man, and show you that it's not referring to uh, uh World War One, man. All right, and fighter jets, man, and Kaiser Warhammer. So this is Revelation chapter seven, and I'm gonna start at the top. It says, "After these things, I saw four angels standing in the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that he should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor the tree." And that's referring to the angels, man. Reading on, it says to prove it further. And I saw another angel ascending from the east. And we know that angel is referring to the Havel Shai. All right? That star, that, that, that star in the east. Okay? Having the seal of the living power. Yahweh. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels. To whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees. Till we have sealed our servants of our power in their foreheads. Okay, and we know who the service of the Lord power is, the 144,000. Uh, but going back to verse 9 to show you that that's not referring to uh, World War One, Kaiser Warham, and, uh, and uh, fighter jets, man. It's referring to the angels. So this is Revelation 9. 
in verse 4, it says, And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of the power in their forehead. Referring to those uh, angels that we read about in Revelation 7. Okay? And that's the biblical interpretation to that, man. That's the vision uh, that John saw, man. Not uh, fighter jets, man. Not World War I. Because remember, when you go to Revelation 1, let's go to Revelation 1. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1, it says, the revelation, meaning the revealing, all right? The revelation of Yahweh which the power gave unto him to show unto his servants, all right, that 144,000, uh, things which must shortly come to pass, all right? So this is not referring to World War I, man. This is re referring to the revealing of Yahweh Shai when Yahweh Shai returned, man. That's what this is referring to. That's the vision that the Lord gave John. But 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 those niggas with Bibles, man, they teach them contrary in verse to uh what the Bible say, man. Okay? So it says, and he sent and signified it by his angels into his servant John. Alright, so that's what the book of Revelation is referring to, man. Not World War One, man. It's not referring to uh uh Kaiser Warham, man, and uh, these uh, fighter jets, man, being the locusts, that's the angels, man, that's the Iowa shot, that star with the key, all right, releasing uh, 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 the seals and releasing, uh, uh, bringing forth the judgment, man, that's what that's referring to, so uh, going back to Revelation 9, uh, Revelation 9 and verse 5, it says, and to them it was given, and to them it was given that they should not kill them. They should be tormented five months, and their torment was as the torment of scorpions when he striketh for man. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee them. And the shapes of the locusts. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. All right? This is describing the angels, man. Okay? It's not referring to World War I. All right? So the shape of the locusts, it reads, the shape of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. Now, I want to get a precept and show you uh, what that's referred to, man. And this is how you're supposed to break down the Bible, man. No private interpretations, man. All right? Let's see. Get a quick precept and show you who those uh, horsemen, those horsemen are referring to, man. Show you it's not referring to no uh, World War One, man. So this is the book of Joel, Joel chapter two, and let's see here. Uh, guess I start. I guess I'll start at the top, man. It says, blow ye the trumpet, because uh, John got the same vision that Joel got, man. All right? That's why it says, let every word be established out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, man. All right? And the witnesses is in the Bible, man. All right? So, so it says, blow ye the trumpet inside y'all in the sound of the law in the holy mountain. Uh, let all the inhabitations of the land tremble for the days of the Lord coming, for it, is, for it is nigh at hand. So this is the same vision, all right? It says, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Just like we read in the book of Revelations, man. Let's go back. Uh, the book of Revelations, chapter 9, and verse 2. 
He says, and he opened the bottomless pit, and there rose smoke out of the pit, and the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened. Right? So it's the same vision, man. So going back to Joel 2 and 2, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick, a thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountain. A great people and a strong that have not been ever like, neither shall it be any more after it, even the years of many generations. The fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Referring to those angels, all right, those locusts, man. That's what it's referring to, man. It's not referring to uh, World War II, okay? So, uh, read on. It says the appearance, the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, okay? So, that's what it's talking about, man. It's not talking about no fighter jets, man, all right? And this is referring to the angels. It says, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the top of a mountain, they shall leap like they shall leap like the noise of a flame, and the fire will devour the stubble and strong people set in battle array. Okay, refer to the angels, man. Uh, let's let's jump around some. Uh, well, let's keep keep reading. I want to get a precept for that verse five. It says, like the noise of chariots on the top of a mountain, so uh, on the top. Of mountains shall they leap. So I want to get a precept and show you what that's referring to, man. Like I said, this is how you break down the scriptures, man. No, no private interpretations, man. Let the Lord words speak, man. Not the words of Bible.org, man. That's where them guys got that breakdown from. So this is uh Psalms. This is Psalms chapter 68. And it says, The hill of the power is as the hill of Bashan, the high hill as the hill of Bashan. Why leap ye, ye high hills? This is the, the hill which the power desires to, to dwell in. Yea, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of the power are thousands, even thousands of angels. And the Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. So going back to Joel 2. Joel 2 and verse 5 it says like the noise of chariots on the on the top of a mountain shall they leap like the noise of flames of fire that devoured the stubble as a strong people set in battle array referring to the angels before their face the people shall be much pain all faces shall shall gather darkness they shall run like mighty men referring to those angels man they will climb the walls like men of war, and they shall march every one on his way. They shall not break their ranks. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. So that's 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 the horse. That's the horses, man, and horsemen. Let's read on and prove that, though. Going back to Revelation nine, uh, it says. It says, verse 7, Revelation 9 and 7, And the shape of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. Just like we read in Joel, man. Okay? And on their heads were as, it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men, and they had hair as the hair of woman, and their teeth was as the teeth of lions. And this is describing uh, the angels, man. Okay? Not talking about World War One, man. Read on, and there, and they had breastplates, as it were breastplates of iron, as, and the sound of their wings were as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. All right, the same vision Joel got, man. All right, so it says, and they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tail, and the power was to hurt men five months, and they had a king. They had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, all right, the one with the key that broke, that opened the seals, that king that's referred to, uh, referred to in uh, the book of Revelation, uh, Salak, in the book of Matthews, chapter 2, 
All right, that star, all right, coming from the east, the kings of the Jews. So it says, uh, read on, it says, uh, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, who named in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. All right, if you look that word up, it, it's, it, it goes back to the word destroyer, man. All right, referring to Yahweh Shot. Okay? Because he's the one bringing the destruction. Like I said, in, in, the, in the news you had uh, wars and rumors of wars uh, dealing with uh, uh, the uh, killing of that uh, Iran high-level high Iranian uh, military official. All right, but the destruction, all right, the end not going to come until the Lord return. All right, and that's why in the Hebrew tongue he got a name called destruction. All right, the destroyer. So reading on it says, but in the Greek tongue has his name Apollyon. You can look that word up, man. It, it goes back to the word destruction and destroyer. Referring to the Lord himself, man. It says, one woe is past, and behold, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before the power. Saying to the sixth angel who has the trumpet, loose the four angels, those so same four horsemen, man. All right? Remember the red horse? All right? Remember the uh, the black horse represent famine? That red horse represents what? The sword? Let's get it. In Revelation 6. Revelation 6, and we're going to start at verse 4. It said, and there went out another horse that was red. All right? And power was given to him that sat on it to take Terry. peace from the earth, and they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Okay? So that's that horse, man. That's the horseman. That's referred to the angels, man. Okay? It's, it's, remember, it's four sword judgments, man, of the Lord. Let's read about it. Uh, the next one is, and when he, and when he had opened the third seal... I heard the third beast come and said, come and see. And I behold, and lo, a black horse. And we know we went through that, you know, gave you the uh, biblical interpretation of what that was referring to. All right. We got videos on, on the channel going into the four uh, horsemen, man. So that's who that's referring to, man. All right. The angels, man. The angels of the Lord. All right. So I'm going to go back to verse 9. Let's see. And it says, And the sixth angel sounded, I heard a voice from the four horn of the gold of, of the golden altar, which is before the power, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the in the great river of Euphrates. And the four angels was loose, and they was prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay. All right, because that's the four judgments of the Lord. All right, we read about two of them. All right, let's go back to Revelation uh, 6. Jump down, so show you what the four uh, angels is referring to that's prepared to slay. Uh, this is Revelation 6 and verse 8. Six and eight. It says, And I look, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death and hell. Followed with him, that's two. It says, It says, and power was given unto them, referring to the four uh to the four beasts, over the four part of the earth to kill with the sword, that's one, that's that red horse, and with hunger, that's that black horse, that's uh it says, and with death. All right, that's the third horse, and and with the and with the beasts of the earth, and so that's your four angels right there, man. All right, that's the four uh, sword judgments. So it says, and the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, day, and a month, and a year to slay the third part of men, and the number of the army of the horsemen, the angels, the Lord hit squad, were two hundred thousand. And I heard the number of them. 
I'm going to get go back to Psalms, man. All right? The book of Psalms, chapter 68. We read it earlier. Chapter 68. Chapter 68 and verse 17. And the chariots of the power are 20,000, even thousands of angels. That's what it's referring to, man. All right? It's not referring to World War II, man. All right? Referring to the angels, man. That's the vision that uh, John saw, man. He didn't see World War II, Kaiser War, man. So read knowing it says, verse 17, And thus I saw the horses in a vision, all right? John, uh, John the Revelator on the island of Patmos, and them that sat on them, the angels, the horsemen, having breastplates of fire, jesse, brimstone, and heads, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouth issue fire, smoke, and brimstone. And when you go into the book of Ezra, uh, it'll go into that uh, Ezra's chapter, second Ezra, uh, I believe chapter 15, man. You read that chapter, it'll give you the understanding on the, uh, uh, the brimstone issuing out of their mouth. Remember in Revelation, it talks about Yahweh Shai having a sharp sword coming out of his mouth. All right, that, that's not literally... That means he can command the elements, man, and bring the destruction, man. All right? And that's the power he's going to get to uh, the angels, man, to his squad, man. All right? So read on. It says, by these three were the third part of men killed by the fire, by the smoke and the brimstone will issue out of their mouth. For their power is in their mouth and their tails, for the tails are like unto uh, serpents. Now, according to these guys, that's referring to the fight of Jets, World War II, man. All right? We, we, we know through the precepts on what I already read that that's not referring to that, and that's referring to the angels, man. All right? So read on. It says, it says, verse 20, And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, that's written in the book, yet repented not of their works, I mean, not of the work of their hands, that they should not worship devils, idols of gold, brass, stone, and of wood, which neither can see nor hear or walk. And the worship of money, the love of money, is worshiping of wood. Because money comes from uh, wood that comes from trees, man. Okay? So all you people guilty of that, man. All right? It said, neither repented there of their murders nor of their sorceries. And that breakdown of Revelation 9 being World War I is sorceries, man. That's witchcraft. Like I say, uh, taught by niggas with Bibles, man. All right. All the uh, uh, the one the, the one west uh, wicked shepherds, the elders, and they flunkies, man. Okay. Uh, it says, nor their sorceries, nor their fornications, nor their thefts, man. All right. And basically, uh, that's the point, man. I just want to do a quick breakdown of Revelation nine to show you. And that's not referring to the no revelation. I mean, Salaki, that's not referring to uh, World War One. All right? That's a private interpretation. It's not biblical. It was brought in by the will of man. All right? I hope you brothers was edified. And with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.